said um audience we are going to transition into the first song the first song is every hour so i'm going to mute the mic we'll come back on after the song is finished and we'll again so the, the question that we'll be answering after each song again is what was the most unexpected thing you heard and or felt after hearing the song so muting the mic Okay, so the mic is back on. I think we have a couple comments. I'm gonna read the comments first, um, and then we'll we'll jump into those answering the questions. So, um, Texas people, let me know that they're on. Woohoo! Glad to see you. Um, Adelaide, I'm gonna bow out. I'm not a Christian, so I'm lost with anything titled Jesus. And two, heard a conversation about the album on NPR just a couple days ago. Catch you all later. LA, I wish you stayed on. I actually wanted the Jewish voice on this conversation, so I might circle back with you. I really, really wanted to engage. Um, TJ used the words to um, to describe Kanye as perfectionist, um, creative genius, and isolated. Um, Christina said provocative. Um, so, so those are some of the words that our audience shared with us. So. Based off the question, who wants to go first? What what was unexpected about what you heard or felt in the first song? I would say the speed of it. Like it just came out of nowhere. It wasn't like a gradual progression. It wasn't an intro. It just <laughs> smacked you in the face. <laughs> you okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. I, I think the unexpected was the fact that Kanye wasn't on it. Yeah, that's what mm. I was going to say. That's what you didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Mm. Like okay. Was, it was the intro to his album, man. Yeah. He didn't have a verse or anything. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That was what I was thinking. You know, I was like, is he coming on? <laughs> <laughs> there was so. Full disclosure, I listened to this already once, um, but I was at work, so <laughs> it was playing in the background. Um, I was surprised. Kind of. It was. It felt like there was so much auto tune. Like I was like, whoa! Like that was a lot, and I don't know all the pieces and parts behind it, but I was like, that was a lot of all the Cool. All right. So transition to the second song. Oh, Sorry. okay. Got, got some comments. I love it. We got some engagement, baby. Our, our producers. So TJ says, the first time I heard it, I was expecting something with yay on it with the choir. Mm -hmm. So the common theme here is yay wasn't on the first one. Yeah. Okay. All right, so transition to the second song, Mute in the Mic. Ooh. Real quick. All right, Max back on. Yeah, just Go a ahead. comment on that. Um, which, if you look at it, I mean, it's kind of interesting because Kanye is known as being very egotistical, right? Mm -hmm. And everything is about him. Mm -hmm. So for him to now have an album called Jesus is King that's kind of deflecting mm -hmm. everything on him and then having an intro that doesn't have him on it could have been very intentional. Yep, so got another comment. Sorry, I can't get the rest of it. Are you fine? Okay, so we're gonna try to pull it up in real time. Uh, I don't see it, so the number of devices. All right, so, so we'll we'll mute device. and come back to. <laughs> okay. Justin says unexpected that Kanye wasn't on the track. Maybe he thinks he's the pastor of the track, and the pastor always follows the worship. Oh. Mm. Brittany says in text. I am not really sure. TJ says it definitely set the tone of the album, though. He took out the typical 808s you'd expect to open it and or since. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, transitioning to the second song. Wait. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I, I love it. The, I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm struck with the comment of the. That, that was a very. The comment about. Him being the pastor. He's the pastor of the album, and mm. thus the pastor always follows the worship. Mm. That, to me, speaks to someone who has a very specific church experience, mm -hmm. and that their church experience is much that, right? We come in, mm -hmm. the choir sings, the preacher preaches. So that was very interesting <laughs> that um, 
that that, that was kind of the, the comment. And yeah. I, I didn't think about the angle of maybe Kanye thinking about himself as a pastor, but it certainly was like, that's a very specific church experience. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, that was, that was very Baptist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. to speak on that, it's kind of like having that experience. Mm-hmm. The worship sets the tone, sets the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. So Kanye's, you know, if this was his intention, mm-hmm. Kanye's probably saying, I want to set the tone, the atmosphere for this entire album. Mm-hmm. I'm let this thing breathe for a little bit mm-hmm. and I'm going to glide right in. I also find it interesting though, that we don't always include or typify the sermon as part of the worship. We like, we will say like worship is the singing and stuff yeah. and then there's a sermon, but like it's kind of a whole worship service. Yeah. So then every part of it is at some, is at some point worship. Mm-hmm. It's just a different expression of worship. Mm-hmm. So I think sometimes I think we segment things. Mm-hmm. So I have Britney's comments. Um, she was surprised that for his first song that he wasn't even on it, which I think shows unexpected humility. Um, also missed the opportunity to incorporate Jesus walks into that beat with a smiley face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Christine also says, I've been singing all the words for a long time. It's meaningful. And then she adds, I have no history with Kanye. Okay, all right. Now we are going to go to the second song.